Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Mark Sinan. This is Daily Rambles. Welcome. Today we're doing Season 3, Episode 17 of Arrow, and it's called Suicidal Tendencies. So, we start off the episode with Diggle's wedding. And Oliver's late, as per usual, because he's late to everything. And it's awkward moment because uh, Diggle says, like, you're going to be here for pictures. It's like, there's a photographer right there. It's like, I meant wedding pictures. And he goes, like, Lyle's not going to be happy with you. Yeah. And then um, then there's an awkward moment between uh, Ollie, Oliver and Ray because of Felicity. So, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, turns out the, the pastor who's supposed to officiate the wedding, he got sick and can't do it. And so um, Roy is actually a minister through online. So he officiates the wedding. And then uh, Felicity caught the bouquet. And then you have um, everyone's phone goes off and we have Arrow is killing him again. But it's not really, it's not Oliver Arrow, it's Ross Ghoul Arrow. And so uh, then we go, then we cut to a uh, TV um, presentation. I can't think. Uh, anyway, so Palmer's on TV, and so he slams the arrow and condemns him and tells him, like, it's not good what you're doing, but it's not really him. Then Oliver tells Diggle to go to Fiji on the honeymoon and just not to worry about it. And then the suicide squad pops up and says, um, you have a job to do, so you gotta come do that job now. So uh, Diggle um, also goes on the mission, and the mission is in Kasnia, and there are there just to rescue the senator. Nobody else, none of the civilians that were taken hostage at this hospital, just the senator. And then you have the flashback scene where uh, Floyd is home from the army because the Deadshots and the Suicide Squad so are actually doing something really interesting. They're doing a, the Deadshots flashbacks. So he gets home from the army, and his daughter doesn't know him, and also doesn't like him at all. Then we cut to the present day, where it's Arrow versus Arrow versus Arrows. Uh, it's basically the League of Assassins versus um, Oliver Queen, <laughs> but they're all dressed as him. So it's actually a really cool fight sequence there, like a really good one. And then... Um, Ray goes by, and he has some tech in his um, helmet that um, he sent up with um, Felicity's um, facial recognition, but she didn't know that. <laughs> and, and so he finds out that Oliver Queen is actually there. Then when he gets back, he gets real mad at Felicity, and he is still going after Oliver. They have the flashback scene where... Um, I want to say it's been probably like a couple, a few months after he got back, and he's trying to feed his daughter, and his daughter's being kind of cutesy slash annoying, saying, I don't want this, no, like her food. And he's basically drinking a beer, and he gets kind of like really aggressive, uh, and snaps out at his daughter, and then he gets mad at the world, and drinking, and then his wife comes in, and he kind of threatens her with the gun, that he just happens to have in his back pocket. And then he kind of realizes his mistake and lets her go. And so she kicks him out and calls the police. And so um, he has to basically run for it. And then go back to the present day where Felicity tells Oliver about Ray. And then um, Ray talks to Laurel about the police. And Laurel kind of just drops it and says, you have no circumstantial evidence. He's already been tried for that, so he can't try him again. So Ray puts more pieces to the go, uh, together and says, you're right, this means nothing. Bye, Black Canary. <laughs> he already kind of, it's just putting all the pieces together. And then um, then we cut to Cosnia, where the senator actually set up everything. He set up literally the hostage, the mercenaries. He got, he handled the whole thing because he wants to be a hero and be president. <laughs> Stupid. And then you have Deathshot got hit, and 
then you found out uh, there's uh, bombs everywhere and the structural integrity of the hospital could blow if he says or sets it off. And then you have Bray and all of her talk and it does not go that great. And they have the senator puts explosives in the hospital and oh yeah, Deadshot's um, Deadshot's wound is a burn bro. Uh, that's why I put TNT. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, um, we already know about the bombs and stuff, so sorry, my brain's a little... <laughs> and then we find out that Deadshot actually shows some morals, and he wants to help everyone get out. And then we have the flashback scene where Hive hires him, and Andrew Diggle is the target. And then, uh, then you have Felicity in the present day being caddy to Oliver. Then Ray sets up Oliver, and then it's basically Ray versus him. Oliver easily beats him, no problem whatsoever. Then you have the Dishy Senator, and then you have Floyd is coming for them. And as they all get out and the bomb goes off, he dies. But I don't know how much that's true, just because if I don't see a body, you ain't dead. In TV shows, that's the way it works. And then we have um, Ray and Felicity talk, and Ray finally trusts Felicity. And then you have the um, media said that the whole thing, Cassia, was um, Floyd's fault. And they have Lila resigned because she doesn't agree with that, and she heavily argued with Waller about that. And they have Oliver and Drink. And talk, and basically they toast to Lawton. And then you have the arrow killing the mayor. And while um, Ray and Felicity are also at the meeting, and Maceo actually aims at Felicity, and that's where you leave this episode, which is a really good episode. Uh, I'll give this an A+. Plus. I do like it. It's a nice switch up from the uh, flashback. It was a nice little pause from Oliver and focus on Deadshot and get more of a backstory from him. And the, and we find out why he does what he does because every time he gets paid, he puts into a trust for his daughter. So I actually kind of like that um, mentality. And now they actually start to show a little bit more moral and more roles. <laughs> and just everything about that is really, really neat. And I just like um, all that type of stuff. So, yeah, that's what I did for this episode because I can't think of anything else because I'm super tired. And in this 325, it looks like it's 730 outside. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I did for me. So if you like this video, please comment down below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. And I want you to have a super duper awesome day. Bye, everybody.